There's my ladder. The family just got home. There's my driving me vehicle. My wife's van. That is the same van as the other one. <clears throat> it's all wrapped and ready to go, so it, we get a few jobs a, a year off of it. Not a few, like more like five or six pretty good ones. Um, we actually got a really good contract because that van is always parked at a certain location and the property actually finally hired us. Um, so anyway, back to the title of the video. Uh, so that ladder looks twisted. They just got home and so I've been up here in the office the whole time trying to get my head straight. And so the crew just got back and their cars are gone and the van is back. So let's check the system. Let's see how they left the van, where the cash is or the checks, where the um, keys are and all that. Let's go downstairs. Okay, right outside the door here. Um, during the day, they're just supposed to leave the key in the barbecue. Leave the key. So let's take the key. So they get here, they get the key, they take off, they don't need me around. They come in the house, get coffee, whatever they need to do. So let's head and check out the van. There's the beast, it's working amazing. <clears throat> okay. Starting with the ladder. So they put the locks back on which is the most important, so it doesn't fall off on the freeway and kill somebody. However, this, this ladder holder, which is an actual shelf I got from Home Depot and tied it down, this keeps the ladders from coming to the middle, which if you put it over it, it purposely goes to the middle. Help me, Joshua Latimer. Okay, right there, That's where that should go. Or, well, anyway, I guess they, I guess I should have put this wider because now this is in the way of it. And it was in between there. So if you pull this out, then move it over, then push it back in, it works, which is not a clean system. But once it's back on there, if that was the system, that locks this ladder in there pretty good. So whatever, we'll, we'll figure that out. Now the ladder should set right in here perfectly. And these just go right over. See how fast that is? Boom, boom. Really quick. Now, normally it's quick. I just need to move this out a little bit. Front one. See, when they put the ladder up here, these just hold it on. This is the safety, okay? This is gonna keep the ladder on here, but this here just keeps it down so it doesn't bump around. Boom, boom, that quick. No, we don't use these big tie downs and everything. Remember, this is your safety. So it keeps the ladder safe from being stolen and it keeps other motorists safe because it's locked on there. Anyway, that's how that goes. Let's check the rest of the van. Let's check the system. Card holders, so that if you're up on a ladder, um, you could say, yeah, just grab a card because there's always people coming by. Um, the appearance looks good. I just modified this broken doorknob and look at this broken, this window won't go back up, but um, I have a reason for that. The reason is I don't want to spend $800 to get this van back in order. Okay, let's check the system here. Austin put his stuff back up. Is this Austin's? Austin's, yeah. Hillary did not put hers back on her side. She's left-handed, so she should grip it there. But I guess she doesn't have enough strength to grip that thing, the hook, so she just plopped hers up in there, which is fine. That's just a basket for whatever. This ladder should be here, and their metal kit should be up there. Their buckets are here. Um, their squeegees should be laid out 
on the rags or something because it keeps the rubbers better. Not a very attractive van, but it's very minimal. All they need is this because they have their foot booties, their screen extractors, everything they need here. Shop vac, and look, the floor is pretty much clean. <clears throat> they continue to throw these on the ground, I guess because they don't need them unless there's French windows. So those go there, people. That's okay, people are messy. Let's check the front. Okay, their hats are moved, so I guess they wore their hats today. <clears throat> this is their pull road thing. One wrist razor. Okay, the most important. Did we bring in money today? Open this up. The receipts go here. And all capital should be in here. And it was cash. 180 cash. So they did 180. I think they worked an hour today. Uh, so I'll give them a little bonus for that, obviously. Because they didn't get that many hours. <clears throat> so the system worked. And again, not very attractive. This is the van that uh, was mine. And everybody was using my cars, but now I gave them a van because now they have everything they could possibly need in one. Vans are just much nicer because everything's safe. Here is my... Here's what they give to every client. You open the pamphlet. Shows our services right here. Um, which we don't really do rain gutter cleaning anymore. Shows our crews. Shows the rain check on the back. Gives a full disclosure of what I promised them, owner access gives them my personal phone number, gives them rain check stickies. And so if we missed a window or, or we have, it rains and it gets the outside windows dirty, they get about 20 of these stickies to stick on their windows and we'll go back and touch them up for free. Um, that pays off big time because we're able to schedule about 40 more jobs a year with that promise and we only do about four rain checks a year so it pays off <clears throat> there's our flyer this is what we give we ask the client one of our post marketing strategies is we ask the client can we use you as a reference then we put the client's name here we put their address and we hang this on the neighbor's doors this man that stupid son this gives them a full um, description. We wrote, I wrote as much as I could because uh, copywriters, they tell you, write everything you possibly do um, on your flyers. Give them the phone number for the receptionist and just get pictures of the company and everything. You hang these on their neighbors and this is called um, <clears throat> endorsement marketing. So the client's name here raises your chances of getting this person to call you if they're looking for window cleaning. Uh, if they're looking for window cleaning, you hang this on their door, whatever. But if you put their neighbor's name on there, that's endorsement. Their neighbor just endorsed us, and who are they gonna go to? They're not gonna go look in the phone, but they're gonna look for, they're gonna call us, because it's right there. Um, unless they hate their neighbor, in which case, you know, neighbors aren't always the best. I like my neighbors, though. Okay, what else in the system? Let's talk about how unattractive this van looks. I guess I, I should vacuum the ground. I just got this van put together for them. Um, I really wanted a few trans connects. It is winter months. We are a little slower in the winter. And this, this window would probably be with the other window. This one's broken as well. I think it's a fuse. So I'm asking my mechanic to help me use the fuses because I'm really retarded with that stuff. Um, Probably a few hundred. This is five hundred dollars. They already estimated for this window. I've had this window up and sealed for like three and a half, four years now. I just never wanted to spend the five hundred. So we're looking at a thousand bucks to fix these windows. That's like a thousand dollar tax-free job, um, and I never wanted to do it. So I'll eventually get that working. Um, this doorknob busted off, so I modified it. And it's not that unattractive. So. 
I just put new tires on it. So the bottom line is the bottom line. You want, is this thing gonna make me money or not? Yes, it makes me money. It makes me the maximum amount of dollars for the least amount of time. I'm not gonna buy a new van until this one is fully producing me money. And the other thing it does is it is producing me, let's see, if I were to buy the van I want, that would be a payment of about $500 a month. So that van right there, by keeping it, and it's already paid off, that van's producing me $500 a month. Um, extra, what if you were to get a route job, okay? Um, here's the other van. Sorry, I'll go back to the route job in a second. I have really bad ADD. So, when that van is cranking and we just can't handle the work, we have a perfect system down, then I decide to start advertising again. I'll just pop a ladder rack on this one. We'll get my wife a more comfortable vehicle for her and the kids. And this one, this one's paid off as well. That car's paid off as well. We just paid off all three of these. Actually, that one's been paid off for a while, but these two just got paid off. Um, I'll put a lot of wreck on this car. It's already wrapped. I don't have to spend money on the wrap again. And it's good enough for window cleaning. People hire a window cleaner. They don't expect this big elaborate wrapped van. They just expect a nice conservative guy to come to their house and clean their windows. So I'll just put a ladder rack on that van when <clears throat> in due time. So I'll tell you real quick how the blue van over there is making me $500 tax-free perfect money every month. That van's paid off and I want to run it into the ground. I want, to, I, want it to, I want to get every ounce of energy I can out of that van, every ounce of good production out of that van. And it's a decent looking van as long as I keep it good looking, it's, it's fine. If I buy a new van for $500 a month, taxes, license, registration, the list goes on. And I would only get like 2,000 bucks for that van. Instead, $500 payment and insurance, registration, all this expenses on a new van, I just count as that van producing. So by that van being so, uh, paid off, that's five, almost $600 of tax-free perfect money that I'm not spending um, so if I were to make the if I were to buy the other van by by not buying the other van it's as if that van is producing for me all that money what if you were to get a, a $500 a month route job whereas cash money they just paid you cash every month that's what that van is worth to me so is this one and so is this car so that van breaks down I could just put a ladder rack on this van or transfer that ladder rack to this van. Um, so anyway, anyway, I just hope you learn something about the system of the business and I don't have four or five crews running out there right now. I used to have a lot more crews, subcontractors and all this stuff, but we're uh, working through some minor details on the business to really really clean it up to make sure is this system completely clean and running 90 percent without my effort and today as we saw the keys are in there the van has the cash in it everything's working good it's locked back up the ladders are locked on there and that's a pretty good system so <clears throat> i already have a hiring process a training process that's pretty good but I want to see, are my vehicles producing the money they need to produce? Is the system pretty clean? Then I could just go, I could just start putting these other vehicles to use. Try to get another cheap van or use this van and get my wife a cheap car. And um, then I can grow. Then I could scale up really. I could just start doing the, the um, birds beware window cleaning thing or the all county window cleaning. And just really start getting all these crews out there as long as the system is very clean. Anyway, the system worked today. Be careful.